Hello, Mr. and Mrs. Brookings Harbor and all the fishing boats at sea. I'm Cousin Bruce Ellis. And I'm Kat Liddell. And And this this is the the Insider Insider Report. Report. So let your ears do the walking as we fill you in on what's going on in the Brookings Harbor area and beyond. beyond. Well, hello, 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 and welcome to this week's show that keeps you in the know. Hello, Kat. Hello, Bruce. <laughs> How was your weekend this weekend? Oh, it was insane. Um, so we had the summer cabaret on Saturday. Oh, that's and, right. It was uh, this weekend. How'd that go? It was packed to the brim. Uh, we Beautiful. sold out, and it was just, yeah, a great time. We got to use our new lighting equipment for the first time and uh, got to do some cool effects with that. Everyone was very pleased with how it looked up there, how everything sounded up there. So that was a a very good investment from that donation that we got. And uh, yeah, everyone did a great job. And I looked up. I saw some, on Facebook the pictures of it. You guys, that place yeah. looked like whoa. it was. Yeah, no, like I, I said, like it was. Treatment. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, so the Checo Activity Center, they helped uh, lead on decoration for that, uh-huh. and they got to pull out a snap lock dance floor that uh-huh. they haven't been able to use in a while. So me and Jason put it together for them, and like we were able to have like this like delineated like checkerboard stage. Oh, very classy, wow. very pretty. But um, yeah, everyone did a great job. And, and you had all them lights. <laughs> and, and yeah, and all those lights with like the fancy like lighting effects yeah. of like oh, you want different color ones. Well, just with a little, I don't know, gels or anything, just making it happen. Yeah, what do you know? Super fancy. So, right on. Yeah, it was really nice. Everyone had a good time. It sounds like the uh, Checo Activity Center had some good funds raised for some repairs that they've really been needing for a good. while as well. So, so yeah, yeah, it was a good, good time. Was a good cause, all. and everybody was happy all around. Looks and like it. Everybody yeah. showed up. Mm-hmm. You guys had, yeah, I know you were sold out, so that's great. Yeah, yeah that was incredible. Yeah, yeah, good yeah. Deal. Very thankful to the community for that. So, yeah. yeah. Well, hey, they'll come through when you if you build it, they will come. <laughs> you know, that's where it is right there. Absolutely. Yep. yep. You had some downtime yourself. Oh. Ready for oh, man, you know, it's getting ready for from Wednesday to Sunday this week. Good got sky high and the and the uh, slamming salmon coming up. And I'm yeah, I'm just was taking it easy this weekend as much as possible, mm-hmm. watching the races and all that. Because starting on Wednesday, when I go down and get the vendors list all set up and everything where they got to go and put everything designed, mm-hmm. then it's on. Then you go. <laughs> it's on like Donkey Kong. Oh, you know, it's cool. One thing about what I do, I take care of the vendors and everything like that, and it, it's groovy because. Once I'm done and they're all in position and everybody's happy and everything's down, I do get to take a breather and relax and mm-hmm. just watch over the whole thing and just have to be there if something occurs or yeah. whatever. If anything goes down, they need me for something. Oh, yeah. But yeah, it's like, that's the one nice thing about it. So it's just two days really rough, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. And then after that, I'll be able to groove it and kind of enjoy it. But we're looking forward to it. It's going to be great. We kicked it up a notch for this year and everything like that. Okay. And last year, it was slamming salmon and sky high. This year, it's... Sky high slamming salmon. So there's going to be vendors down there. Sure. And we got security down there and everything for the fireworks going on. And I know a lot of people come down that way and everything, but mm-hmm. the boardwalk is going to be off limits, unfortunately, for everybody. And usually they all line up with chairs and everything like that. But mm-hmm. uh, I'm sure the parking lot will get used in other areas around there to get used. But yeah, that's the one thing about it when it falls like that, because we got the slamming salmon people all going to be. Yeah. set up and everything like that for the next day. So Luckily, yeah. there's lots of places around uh, around the harbor with a great view, yeah. so I'm sure people will manage. And mm-hmm. it's supposed to be beautiful, so let's hope that I fog know. stays away from the night. You know, it always nails us because of Yeah, Henry will be happy live. if the fog stays away, that's yeah. for sure. Yeah, yeah gosh. Yeah. Every year yeah. we get nailed so bad. You can't see it too far away. You know, you got to be down there in every yeah. room, but hopefully it'll work mm-hmm. out and go through. But yeah, I just took it easy this weekend, so... Uh, yeah, just because I had to. <laughs> Otherwise, I'll be dead. No kidding. But uh, <laughs> hope everybody out there had some fun this weekend. And like I said, we got a bunch coming up these next, oh, the rest of it from July through September. Oh, we yeah. got something happening every two weeks on our behalf and then everything else is going on. So there's plenty to do. And we're going to tell you about it here in a minute. But first... I want to thank uh, Oregon South Coast Fishermen, otherwise known as the Castaways, just the jeweler at Oregon Coast VIP Marketing for sponsoring the Insider Report. And if you'd like to sponsor our show or one of the other fine shows we have here at KCIW, all you got to do is go to kciw.org and you will be on your way. And hey, this week we got some special guests in his house from Beacon there with the Internet Report. We got Mr. Bill Gursky. He's been here several times. And then we've got Scott Paul in with us, too. So we've got two people from Beacon down here. Mm -hmm. How are you guys doing anyways? Oh, we're doing great. It's great seeing Cat and Bruce. It's always, uh, the weather is perfect here, and uh, you're right about the harbor. It's going to be slamming salmon down in the harbor. Mm -hmm. So uh, we're looking forward to it, Bruce. It's going to be crazy. So 
Since the last time you've been here with it, we got some questions. Can you give us an update as to where you guys are now and some of the projects that you're working on? Because I know you've been moving to Agnes and all kinds of places. We are really busy. We're actually all the way up towards Dora in some of the areas right now, Bruce. But the great news is we just turned on all of Gold Beach. So a couple thousand homes in Gold Beach, all the businesses and all the residential homes, all the way up to the Patterson Bridge now. So everything from the California border all the way across to this side of the Patterson Bridge can now get Beacon Broadband. All the residents and the homes, it's pretty exciting. We've uh, almost 40% of all the people, before we even turn on those areas, can't wait to switch over to us. So, Bruce, it's exciting. And then right after, uh, probably towards the end of July, first part of August, we're going to cross the Patterson Bridge. Then we're into Wedderburn and the Giesel and then the Seca Beach. That's going to be July, August, September, and then in October, November, and December, we're going to turn on Port Orford. And so then after Port Orford, we go on. And Bandon is next. Yeah, yeah, we're up and towards the areas up wow. in there. So we got a couple more years to finish this project out. But boy, I'll tell you, we're hooking up about 70 new homes and businesses a week, Bruce. It's pretty exciting times out there. Hey, Scott, I got one for you. Uh, the Internet seems to be simple, although very confusing. Can you tell me how much internet does an average person use? That's a great question, Bruce. And uh, Bruce Kett, great to see you guys again. Yeah. Um, but uh, looking at a study that recently came out from Open Vault in 2023, uh, Americans consume roughly 640 gigs of internet every single month. That's that's everything. Work, cell phone. I mean, you think about how connected we are. I mean, every one of us has a piece of electronics oh, in their yeah. hand right now. <laughs> Um, so whether it be doing a radio show, working from the office, everybody's using right around 650 gigs. Now, our customers average about 530 gigabytes a month. Um, but to give that context, that's the equivalent of 999 emails a day. Wow. On our network, passed over our network every single day. That's a lot. So how does Beacon protect its customers from bad actors and intrusion? You know, our residential customers that take our, our Gigaspire, um, uh, we set up a Your Beacon app that comes with something called Command IQ and Protect IQ. Uh, that's what our customers use to protect their stuff. It protects their devices from cyber attacks and malware. Um, it includes uh, viruses and ransomware. Basically, if you put your device and connect it to the Wi-Fi, it's going to keep it protected. But for the parents out there, um, it does a little bit more than that. It allows you to create uh, people, places, um, and things. So you can add your child's phone to the account. And you can set parental controls. You can block specific websites. You you can shut off the internet if they're misbehaving. Take the internet away if they're not getting that A, a grade they're looking for. So um, we protect it in the background, uh, but we also offer our customers to be able to protect it themselves if they need it. Hey, and Bill, one more for you. What are some upcoming events that you are doing? Well, I know the answer to someone now, but <laughs> and where people can come and see you guys. <laughs> you know... Uh, Having running running the internet company is not just about providing internet service to our homes and businesses. It's about being part of the community, Bruce. And you do it as well as anybody else in the community. And I try to jump on your back when you do all these events because you draw such big crowds. So, you know, our next big event coming up uh, right now is going to be your Slam and Salmon, you know, and that's coming up July 5th and 6th. It's right around the corner. Beacon Broadband, we'll have a booth there. We'll have a staff. People can come down, tell us how, how much you like our service. If you haven't subscribed, you should subscribe. We're going to be having some giveaways and doing stuff like that. We're also the main sponsor of the uh, the summer concerts in the park, which is a Thank huge you. event that's out there. They have a huge job. Uh, uh, what, what's her name, Bruce, that's coming on Sunday playing? Oh, Jesse G. Yeah. Jesse G is going to be playing Sunday. That's our we'll have, girl. We have a booth at every one of those events. We give away beach balls, and we'll have them all over the park, and the beach, people can blow them up and bounce them around. And we'll have somebody working those uh, booths there, too, and people can find out about our service. And then our big event that starts today is a great summer giveaway and what we're doing is if you switch out your service and get rid of Spectrum and Zipply and you want to switch over to Beacon, you can win a bunch of many prizes, get a free hookup. And the key thing is, Bruce, they can get priced for life. So you sign up for Beacon Broadband, you're never going to get a rate increase. I know a couple of the companies I just mentioned did rate increases recently. You'll never get a rate increase with Beacon Broadband. And then we got a really big event coming up. We did so well yesterday. I think we got over 100 new customers. It was the Pirates Festival on August 9th, yes, 10th, indeed. and 11th. 
And uh, thank you for getting us involved in that. Yep. We get thousands of people coming down to the harbor, and we get to call talk to everybody about how great Beacon Broadband Service. So we're we're going to be a main sponsor at almost every event you got coming up, Bruce. We're a sponsor for the music festivals, and as we move north, we'll get more involved in Go Beach and Port sure. Orford. So if you want to get Beacon Broadband, we really love to have you come on board. Call five four one two five four nine two six five. And you're going to win one of these prizes if you switch over in the next 30 days. You can get a smart TV, 75-inch, a 45-quart Yeti. You can win a $250 Black Trumpet gift certificate, a $250 gift certificate, Salmon Run Golf Course, or you can get six months free Beacon Broadband. So if you haven't switched to Beacon, the time is correct all the way up to August 1st. We'd love to have people learn about more about Beacon Broadband. Give us a call. Stop by the office. And... Bruce and Kat, we really appreciate you letting Scott and I come on here today and, you know, do the internet report, the fishing report. You guys do such a great job with the audio reports. All right. Thanks a lot. Hey, don't forget, you guys are also going to be at the Sky High 4th of July. So we are. They're celebrating. We are. Yes, we are. indeedy. Well, hey, always a pleasure to have you on board here. And thank you, Scott and Bill. And we'll see you all the next time. Thank you very much. Have a great one. All right. Well, always good to have the internet report. We got two of the heavy hitters there at Beacon. So cool. Mm -hmm. So let's get on with the music schedule here. Yeah. Coming up here in July at the Elk Valley Casino at the Betty Green Event Center. On the 3rd, they're having an at the deck party off site. Got you covered. That's what it says there. Yep. And then on the 6th, they're going to have Jesse G playing at 8 p.m. Doors open at 7 p.m. Again, that's at the Betty Green Event Center over there at Elk Valley. And then on the 13th, they have comedian Matt Fulchiron or Fulcheron. I'm not sure which. Comedian Matt Fulcheron at 8 p.m. <laughs> Doors open at 7.30. Again, that's at the Betty Green Event Center. Then on the 26th, they have Jason Aldean tribute at 8 p.m. And doors open at 7 p.m. that night. And then over at their Warriors Bar and Grill, where all music starts at 7 p.m. unless otherwise noted, on the 5th and 6th, it's Robert Tiernan. On the 12th and 13th, it's Mike Powell. That's from 6.30 to 9.30. On the 19th and 20th, Steve Berg. And on the 26th and 27th, Jesse Mead. Yep, and then Cisco will be playing on the 6th, the 13th, the 20th, and the 27th at the Brookings Harbor Farmer's Market, 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. All right. And over at the Travel Organ Welcome Center, events there starting at 2 p.m. On the 6th, they're going to have Ken Doberpole. That's acoustic guitar. On the 13th, another acoustic guitarist, Nathan Stone. On the 14th, it's Bill Gorham doing a talk called Beachcombing and Tide Pooling on the Curry County Coast. Then on the 20th, they have Danielle Duran and Mark McDonald, a guitar and vocalist duo. And on the 27th, C.R. Taylor playing acoustic guitar and singing. Yeah, and Nathan Stone, uh, you know, Chrissy and I do the Inside of Southern Oregon events. We were partners in that, and we just brought Nathan on as a team member, helping with the entertainment. Cool. Hey, the Italian guys are playing at 4th at Crescent City 4th in the Park at 3 p.m. to 6 p.m. Then on the 5th, they'll be at the Inateca down in Crescent City, 7.30 to 10.30. Then on the 7th, they'll be at the Slam and Salmon. Now, I don't have a time for that. And then on the 11th and the 18th, they'll be at Kuntai at 6 p.m. And the Mighty Steelheads are going to be playing on the 4th of July at Crescent City's 4th in the Park as well from 3 to 6. And on the 5th, they'll be at Inateca from 7.30 to 10.30. On the 7th, they'll be at Slam and Salmon. On the 20th, they'll be at the Relay for Life in Crescent City at Mike Whalen Field. That's from 6.30 to 8. And then on the 27th, they'll be at Pops at 7.30 p.m. Yes, indeedy. And P.A. and T. Roy will be playing on the 4th at the Sky High 4th of July, noon to 1.30. On the 12th, they'll be at Misty Mountain Bruins, 6 to 8. On the 13th, they'll be at Coon Tai, 6 to 8. And then on the 26th, at the Elks Lodge, 7 to 9. And then Patty and Cunha is playing solo on the 6th at Coon Tai from 6 to 8 p.m. And then we have some dates here for Lon Goddard. He's playing on the 5th and 19th at Misty Mountain Brewing from 6 to 8. Then on the 10th and 24th at Coon Tai from 6 to 8. And then on the 18th, he's going to be at the Brian Scott Gallery's Brown Bag Lunch event from 11.30 a.m. to 1.30 p.m. Yeah, and then Bloodline Band will be playing on the 6th at the Checo Brewing Company, 6 to 8. And then Mike Powell is playing on the 13th at Elka Valley Casino's Warriors Room from 6 to 9. On the 20th, he's going to be at Augustino's Estate and Vineyard from 4 to 7. And then on the 26th, he'll be at Checo Brewing Co. from 6 to 8. Disturbing the peace will be playing on the 4th, downtown Front Street in Crescent City, 10 a.m. to 1 p.m. 
On the 6th, they'll be at the Brookings Elks Lodge, 1 to 5. And then on the 26th, they'll be at Del Norte Golf Course, 4 to 7. Hey, and at the Inateca, on the 10th, they've got Dai Kaiju happening at 8 to 10. On the 12th, they got the Spence Brothers, 8 to 10. On the 13th, they've got Stephanie Latour and the Reverbs. She'll be playing 7 to 9. On the 19th, it's Dog Bart Monday, 8 p.m. to 10 p.m. On the 20th, the Italian Guys, 7 p.m. to 9 p.m. On the 26th, it's Tequilma, 8 p.m. to 10. And on the 27th, we've got the Shark Tones, 7 p.m. to 9 p.m. All right, and then finally, down at the Beachfront Park in Crescent City on the 5th of July, Robert Tiernan's going to be playing from 4 to 6. That's right. All right. That is it for the music. That's a lot of music. Yeah. All right. And now we'll get into some schedule of events over at the Checkout Library in Brookings. Starting off with some weekly events there, they're inviting everyone to join them for summer reading. This year's summer reading program, Explore Your World, is running through August 15th. In addition to their classic reading challenges for fun prizes, this year's program offers weekly special events on Thursday afternoon for youth and families through the first week of August. You can grab reading challenge cards for both kids, teens, and adults at the front desk whenever the library is open. And for other weekly events, on Tuesdays at 11 a.m., they have story time. That's stories, songs, and simple crafts for young children. Also on Tuesdays at 1.30 p.m., they have a chair yoga class. And then also an additional announcement here that Cheer Yoga is going to come back on Thursdays as well at 2.45 p.m. So a second opportunity to catch that Cheer Yoga Thursdays at 2.45. Then on Fridays at 4 p.m. they have Hora del Cuento. That's stories, songs, and simple crafts for young children all led in Spanish. And then for some special events here, they just want to let everybody know on July 4th, all day the library is going to be closed. They're closed on July 4th in observance of the Independence Day holiday. Then on the 6th and 13th, that's a Saturday at 2 p.m., they have some creative writing classes with Blake Allwood. These free classes are welcome to anyone who wishes to learn more about the creative writing process. Then on July 8th, all day long, they have their Spice World Spice Bags. You can take a culinary journey around the world. Their spice bags feature a unique monthly spice from a different part of the world, and each bag comes with a tester sample of a spice, some trivia, and recipe suggestions. Supplies for these bags are limited, so they are only available on a first-come, first-serve basis. And then on July 9th and 23rd at 5.30 p.m., they're continuing game nights at Checo Brewing Co., So this is an open game night that features games from the library's board game collection, and it's hosted by Checo Brewing Company on Railroad Street. You can try a game from the library or bring one of your favorites. This is a free and fun opportunity to meet and connect with other board game enthusiasts in the community with plenty of table space to spread out. Kids are welcome, but they must be accompanied by an adult guardian, and game nights happen every second and fourth Tuesday of the month. And coming up for some book clubs here on July 10th at 4 p.m., they've got their Kids Book Club. That's geared for second through fifth graders, and kids vote on and pick the books they read each month. Then also on the 10th at 4 p.m. at the same time, for adults, they have Freshly Written Book Club. Again, geared towards adults, this book club focuses on fiction and debut authors. And then on July 11th at 5 p.m., they have Club de Lectora. The library's Spanish language book club encourages parents with children to attend and enjoy an open, welcoming atmosphere. And then for another special event here on the 11th at 3 p.m., they've got a special summer reading event. It's Journey Under the Sea. This is a hands-on science experience with the Museum of Natural and Cultural History out of University of Oregon. Youth and families of all ages are welcome to attend. And hey, all library-led programs and events are free to attend whether or not you have a library card. For more information, you can visit checkcolibrary.org and check out their events calendar. You can give them a follow on Facebook or you can give them a call at 541-469-7738. whole lot going on with the So library. much going on. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> yes, indeed. And, you know, yeah, this, is the, this is the fourth. So go forth on the road. Festival and fireworks show will be happening at the Port of Gold Beach. Mm-hmm. And then down in Crescent City at their cultural center at 1001 Front Street, they're presenting a 4th of July arts and crafts fair. This actually begins on July 3rd, running from noon to 7 p.m., and then on the 4th of July from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. There's going to be a special raffle as well for an original oil-on-canvas painting by local artist Carol Long. And for more information about the event, you can call 707-460-1414. Yes, and as we talked about, Elk Valley Casino is presenting Jesse G. This will be happening on the 6th. She's born in Brookings, Oregon, into a lineage of coastal commercial fishermen, 
Jessie G's roots run deep. Her lyrics tell stories of love, resilience, and the rugged beauty of life on the water. Tickets are on sale now in person at the Points Club booth or online at etix.com and advance on the day of the event. Doors open at 7 p.m. with the show starting at 8. Must be 21 or older to attend. Seating is a first come, first serve. And I got to mention as well, as they said, she's going to be at the park on Sunday, which I assume is at 3 o'clock. We'll be at 3 o'clock. Mm, okay. Well, concerts there have been starting at 1 o'clock lately. So Have they started? They, have they changed been, yeah. to 1? I guess so. Oh. Yeah. So oh. just worth noting, keep an eye out and look up some information on the park schedule for yeah, that. Yeah, and I'll have to get on there and try out. to find it and see where I can find yeah. the times for it. Some changes have been happening there okay, with schedules and stuff. So That's yeah, always good. Um, good to be aware good. of. Just got to let everybody know about it. <laughs> I know. Yeah. Hey, now it's time for quotes from famous people with Cousin Bruce. Yeah, hey, here are a few quotes from actor Tom Hanks. He was born July 9th, 1956. Says, if it wasn't hard, everyone would do it. It's the hard that makes it great. And the only way you can control how you are truly seen is to be honest all the time. And he says, I think it is better to feel good than to look good. And last but not least, I am the only man that will make you cry over a lost volleyball. (laughs) Yeah, I like that one. (laughs) Hope you enjoyed this week's quotes from Tom Hanks with Cousin Bruce. Till next week, have a great one. I'm still experimenting with my toy. Yeah, yeah, you gotta, you know, it might take a minute to find a sweet spot. You never know. Yeah. Hey, I'm looking at a PDF. It's available on the City of Brookings website for uh, what's going on with the American music series. Oh, yeah. Summer concerts in the park. And unless otherwise noted, it does say that they start at 1 p.m. from oh, 1 to oh, about they started, 5 p.m. they changed it to 1. Okay. And uh, yes, so that is the case for July 7th. That's Sunday. Jesse G is going to be playing Country Rock at 1 o'clock. Oh, sweet. Thank you so yeah. much for that. Well, hey, Legends Arcade, located down on Lower Harbor Road, down in the Port of Brookings Harbor, is presenting their first POG tournament. This is on the 13th of July. You can join Legends Arcade for their first ever POG tournament. Each registrant will receive a slammer and a series of POGs to play with. And there is a registration fee. Will you be their first POG champion? Mm-hmm. Find out. Mm-hmm. Hey, Inter- Insider of Southern Oregon Events, as I said, is presenting the Sky High 4th of July and the Slammin' Salmon. This is starting on the 4th from 10 a.m. to 8 p.m. Enjoy a day at the port leading up to the Love Your 4th fireworks display. We'll have local vendors, food, beer garden, live music, kid activities, and fun for the whole family, as usual. And then on the 5th, 6th, and 7th, from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. every day, we'll have the Slammin' Salmon Fishing Derby. Brookings Harbor High School Anglers Club has teamed up with the Insider of Southern Oregon Events to bring you their biggest fundraiser of the year. This fishing derby slash festival not only has prizes for the fishing categories, but also local vendors, food, live music, beer garden, and kids' activities at the Port of Brookings Harbor. All right. And then, hey, down at Crescent City, they're having 4th of July events as well. And their celebration starts with a deck party from 5 to 8 p.m. on Wednesday the 3rd. That's going to be at the Cultural Center in Crescent City. That's across from Beachfront Park. The 4th of July festivities begin with a free Remax hot air balloon rides at 7 a.m. Yeah. <laughs> Followed by a parade through downtown. The lineup starts at 8.30 a.m. The parade starts at 10 a.m. The parade route is H Street and 9th Street before winding its way down to 3rd Street, up to K Street, and over to Front Street. Due to the generosity of their local sponsors, the parade is free to all of those who enter the parade as well as all spectators. Parade entry form will be available soon to participate. There's also going to be a fun run, live music, food, a beer garden, arts and crafts, merchandise and vendors all day long at Beachfront Park, followed by the biggest fireworks show on the North Coast starting at dusk. Yeah, pretty well. That's where the Remax balloon went this year. <laughs> I know. Yeah, yeah. We had it in the sky I, high last Jason's year. Jason's very grateful. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I made him go so, up last year. Oh, <laughs> that's right. Yeah, so hopefully we'll get it back next year. Uh-huh. Hey, uh, Red, White, and Brews is happening in downtown Crescent City. This will be on the 5th from 5 p.m. to 7.30. Local businesses, live music, artisans, local craft beer, wine, food vendors. Fun will be on tap. I believe that's starting their first Fridays thing. Oh, all yeah. right, all righty. And then also down in Crescent City, the Del Norte County Library is presenting a Bluey party. This is going to be on, I don't know, a little Australian puppy, yeah. on the 6th of July from 2 to 4 p.m. Join them Saturday for an all things Bluey party. Join them at the Crescent City branch for an afternoon of Bluey games, activities, crafts, and more. They'll have a Bluey scavenger hunt with a prize for those who complete it and even a Bluey tattoo booth, too. And this says so much fun, you won't want to miss it. Who doesn't love Bluey? Bluey tattoo. <laughs> anyway, I didn't know he was he was Australian. That's oh, beautiful. well, I was going to say, you better check it out. Yeah. Yeah, very cool. Yeah. 
Hey, our forecast of books is presenting the spoken word, open mic, poetry, and short prose. This is happening on the 11th at 5.45 p.m. It's hosted by Michael Spring. And for more information on this, you can call 541-450-1115. Hey, the Lucky 7 Casino is presenting Brittany Kellogg in concert on July 12th at 8 p.m. Brittany Kellogg is going to be at Lucky 7 Casino and Hotel for a live performance in the Tallawa Event Center. Brittany will be bringing musical talent to the stage. And tickets are available for pre-sale as well as on the day of the show. Doors open at 7 p.m. Show starts at 8 p.m. And a note, you do have to be 21 and older to attend this event. And do we have time for a bit of weird history with Bushwhacker Bruce? Oh, I think we can fit it in. Right, good day, good day, mate. It's Bushwhacker Bruce here, and welcome to this week's bit of weird history for your knowledge pleasure. Did you know that America once had a project to nuke the moon? It's true, and here's the story. It's as unfathomable as it sounds, the Americans really did consider sending a nuclear missile towards the moon. And for what purpose, you ask? Well, to prevent the Soviets from getting what up on them. Ever since the end of World War II, the two countries were locked in an ever-escalating nuclear arms race that evolved into a space race. The Soviets got off to the quickest start with the launch of Sputnik 1 in 1957, Earth's first artificial satellite. Fearing they might fall behind further, American top brass wanted to show a strength. So, the U.S. Air Force began Project A-119, a.k.a. Project Nuke the Moon. The Air Force wanted a mushroom cloud so large it would be visible from Earth as the ultimate display of one-upmanship on the Soviets. Well, fortunately for all mankind, the project was canned in favor of the moon landing, which made the man in the moon quite happy, I'm sure. Hope you enjoyed this week's Weirder Weird History with yours truly, Bushwhacker Bruce. Till next time, keep it real, but always keep it weird. All right. And with that note, well, it's time to close out this week's show. Before we go, I'd like to give a shout out to our fearless producers, Ray and Tom, for all their great work making us look and sound good on the radio. And thank you all for tuning in to this week's Insider Report. And please make sure to tune in on a daily basis to KCIW 100.7 FM and listen to all the fine shows they have to offer. You can catch all the fantastic show podcasts, including the Insider Report, by going to kciw.org, and you can check out the live streaming as well. Hey, until next week, this is Cousin Bruce Ellis. And I'm Kat Liddell. We are signing off. Hey, please support local businesses, keep it real, and spread the love and the peace every chance you get. And hey, we'll we'll see see you out out there. there. Bam! Yeah, we made it through by the chinny chin chin. No kidding. All I right. up and I was like, holy Toledo, we got two minutes. <laughs>